the whole thing stinks. Uh, you know, it's really sad that, uh, you know, Whitefish had to cancel everything. And, you know, not much more you can say, but it is what it is. And it's, I think it's the prudent thing to do at this point. One of the many school closures, and probably one of the biggest, is here at Whitefish High School, which was supposed to have their homecoming celebrations today. The parade, the football game, and the dance have all been canceled. Another highly anticipated event was delayed as well today. The first game at the newly renovated Legends Stadium in Kalispell, where both Glacier and Flathead High play their games. When speaking to one Whitefish parent who has two kids in school, he said it was something he has never had to deal with, but has been pleased with how the school and law enforcement are handling the situation. I feel like the schools have done a great job of getting the word out there. Law enforcement's doing what it can to get the word out there. Um, but it's, it's a scary time right now, and I feel for our kids and, and everyone in our community. Powers says his kids saw yesterday as just another day off from school until today when he and his wife felt the need to explain what was really happening. You know, we just needed to be very transparent with them and tell them everything that uh, we knew and field questions and remain calm and just speak to them about that these things do happen and, and how to proceed and what to do and try to make them feel as comfortable as they can in a very uncomfortable situation. Although this is a rare occurrence and there have been many school related cancellations, Sheriff Curry says it should not stop people from going about their normal lives. We've developed no information at all that would indicate there is any sort of specific threat to public safety, to group gatherings, to uh, anything to impede people in just going about their daily lives. If we do, we'll certainly make that public and, and warn the public right away. But to this point, uh, we found nothing of that nature at all. In the Flathead Valley, Jack Ginsburg, MTN News.
if they feel there's still a credible threat out there, then I don't think we should be having school or any extracurricular activities. It's just not worth it. Three days, uh, four days, whatever it takes to, to find a solution to this problem.